In this video I'll show you how to make a little weapons trading outpost from a GW plastic container kit. Hello BitsBrew, that's Craig from bitsbox.co.uk here with another conversion video. So in this video I'm making a little sort of weapon trading post um, from like, one of the GW storage containers. I've seen this done quite a few times, um, so I'm sort of jumping on the band bandwagon. And yeah, I thought I'd show you guys through the process. It's quite simple really, but um, the end result is quite cool. At least I think so. And um, I've, I've, had, I've had quite a lot of positive feedback on social media as well. So yeah, I thought I'd do a nice little video showing you how I build it. So before I get into that, I just want to say a massive thank you and give a huge shout out to all of our patrons. And if you want to know what a patron is all about, there is a link down in the description below. And if you're new here and you like all things wargaming, do feel free to hit that subscribe button, which is also somewhere down below. So yeah, let's hit the desk. Okay, so, first things first, obviously you'll need to use the GW shipping containers. You could, of course, um, scratch build ones if you wanted to, uh, plastic card or um, thick cardstock, that's entirely up to you. Um, in this tutorial though, I am just using the GW ones and we're going to make um, modifications to them. And you want to build the floor, back wall, and then one side. You could have both edges on if you want, but I find it easier just to have the one. So we're going to work on the interior first. And I'm going to have like a back table. So a lot of examples I've seen have like a back table. And I mean, you can make a thick card start. I'm just using um, plastic card. So this one's already been cut to shape. Um, it's not dead straight, but I don't really care. Um, so as long as sort of a straight edge on the front, you'll be okay. And then I've glued on some pieces of sprue to sort of act as table legs. Now, um, some of the examples I've seen don't actually have legs. Um, I find it a lot easier to have them just for a bit of support. And that's going to go there. Now, the legs aren't dead straight, but. Um, Again, I'm not really too fussed. I want this to look sort of a bit sort of ramshackled and... I mean, they're making a shop out of a storage container. I don't think they're going to be too neat about it. And yeah, I, you want to sort of line it up with this piece here. And well, I mean, you don't have to. You can have it any height you want, but um, a lot of examples are sort of lined up there. And it gives you a nice bit of back wall to work with. And of course, um, you want to cut to fit exactly across. But again, you don't have to. So it's going to go in like that. So I'm going to get that glued in. And then we'll work on adding some bits and pieces. Okay, so now I can start adding in all sorts of weapons and boxes and whatnot. So I've got one of these little Necromunda sort of ammo crates. And I'm going to stick that underneath this table. A little bit of glue on there. This is just going to sort of shove it there. And then, um, sort of the table itself will have some weapons on, and as will the back wall. I also want to put a little sort of screen or monitor on there. So I've got a few random weapons and stuff that I've had just spare. I don't even know what this is. Um, you can get like lads guns and flamers and melters, etc. And you've probably even got some spare yourselves. It's getting harder and harder to find ones with handles on. It does tend to be a lot of the older ones now, um, as I did mention in the Zone Mortalis conversion video. Um, I mean, you could even maybe get some regular weapons and cut hands off and then maybe make something as a replacement handle. I've got a weapon here and a holster as well that might hopefully go on the back wall. I'm not too sure. Um, I'll give that a bit of time to dry. That will be a case of just sort of putting some up on the wall and a couple, sort of one above the other. And then whatever's left can sort of go on the table. Add some knives on there, might even get some grenades. There's even a little helmet here as well. So it's all about just popping stuff up on there. Okay, so let's start gluing on some of these weapons. So, start with this flamer. Just whack 
con và kinh ly đó các bạn ha Now, you could even put some plastic card over this back wall if you want like just a flat back wall, but I quite like the sort of pans. And then um, it might be easier if you want to um, just tip it up over like that. And of course the frame takes up a little room, so we could have something smaller underneath perhaps, like a las gun. So you might even want to sort of just dry do a little dry run before you glue them in place. Be a wise thing to do. So, could go over a bit, um, like that, yep. Now so whatever guns is entirely up to you and whatever you've got access to, of course, I'm not really limiting myself to stuff used by one faction or anything like that, or even one game system. Um, it's, I mean, that's what mainly be used for myself in Necromunda, but I'm still just using 40k weaponry, such as this Admech stuff, which obviously you don't see in the in the Necromunda game, but it exists within the universe. Still has a metal gun underneath. So I'm gonna put about six, maybe. And I quite like this holster thing, but I think it's gonna be too long. It'd be nice to have something sort of long ways for variation, but that's not gonna go on there, so. Um, we've got this grenade launcher. And the grenade launcher is a bit fun because it's um, got this rounded barrel, so that is probably not going to sit where I want to. I just need to clean up just a smidge as well. We've got this longer rifle that will have to come over a bit, but that's okay. I'm going to get that on first. Um, I'll put glue on the weapon. And actually I was going to um, put a little monitor on there so what I might do is just leave it like that and then maybe just put some sort of little screen on one up that corner. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and straighten that a little bit. So I'll give these some time to dry whilst I look for a suitable little screen. Okay, so, move that out of the way. I've had a little screen here, this is from the um, Necromunda Zone Mortalis, which I've just sort of cut, sort of cut back. Um, so there's bits on the top, so I chopped all them off. That's what goes there, so we've got some guns on the wall, and a little screen, maybe they can use it for transactions and whatnot, a little cash re register for future, I don't know. So let's get some of the other guns. We'll get this grenade launcher. And we'll pop that on. So some some stuff will go across the table like so. Now you want to have them really sort of at an angle. I'm not sure if this is the most natural way of it to, of, um, to sit. It'll probably have the front on the bottom like that. So yeah, I find having them sort of diagonal at an angle just looks a bit better than just having them sort of dead straight. Um, I like them straight on the wall, but not so much to sort of rest them on the table. Um, we've got some sort of like rope here, some little accessory. I think I'll put more accessories and stuff at the other end. Um, I'm running sort of short on what I've got, but I do have some knives, so I think some knives. Now the knives I might do a bit straighter. You probably want the handles facing the facing this edge. So when the, if the imaginary shopkeeper picks up, you know, it's easier for him. And speaking of which, um, you could add a little shopkeeper if you've got a miniature you could use for a trading post keeper or a robot or something like that. I may consider doing that. Um, not in this video, mind you, but something I might do in the future. I'm going to add this big old knife next to it as well. So we've got a couple of knives next to each other. I won't use the holstered gun, but I'm going to use a little um, chocolate there. I'm going to use this little Cadian helmet. Who knows, they could have just found a Cadian helmet lying around. And then they're going to flog it. I'll stick that there like so. And yeah, um, we'll just wait. again, whatever you've got. I've got this weird looking gun here. I quite like it. I'll put that there. 
And yeah, I think I'll have a rummage around to see what else I've got. And then I'll be back. Okay. So there is the interior of our little weapons trading post. I'm quite liking that. I mean, you could add more stuff. I'd have any sort of piles of grenades here, but I probably wouldn't stick them in. I don't know why anyone would want to leave a pile of grenades lying around like that. I've seen people put barrels and all sorts in there as well, but I think I'm just going to leave it like this. I'm quite liking that. That's pretty cool. Now, um, ideally when it comes to painting this, you probably just want to keep it like this, paint this bit, and then do the rest of it. Um, but obviously, um, this video is all about building it, so I'm going to show you how to build the rest of it, and I'll probably just leave it sort of separate and and then um, maybe by the end of the video, I'll show you it painted. So yeah, anyway, let's work about let's talk about working on the front because that's quite an important piece also. So um, if you watched the Zone War Towers video, then um, I cut some pieces out of that as well. I'm going to use pretty much the same method. So sort of start with getting a knife, and then just sort of twist it through. Like you would if you was making little bullet holes and stuff. And just create some holes. Now I want to cut out these squares. And I'm probably going to take these top bits off as well. Some people leave them on, some people take them off. And it's a matter of choice really. Um, you're not going to see a lot of it on mine. Essentially what I'm going to do is I'm having this piece of... Um, Sort of terrain here, and it's going to sort of hide underneath, like so. A bit of stone wall stuff. Um, I will take it off though. So, move that out of the way. Yeah, essentially, you could do a lot of these and then just use your knife to sort of join them up, eventually creating holes. Or you can grab a Dremel or something, which I'll probably do, and then just Dremel it out. But to be fair, this knife goes through really easily. It's quite an easy piece to sort of hold and do it. If you sort of hold it like that, you're not going to put a knife through your hand. Don't hold it like that, it's not a good idea. Um, it goes about the same really, doesn't it? But yeah, I'll sort of dremel out around and then sort of neaten up the edges with a knife. And a file, so it's a bit of work. But that'll look pretty good when it's done. And just, just keep all the bottom bit. So it's just this piece and this, these top pieces if you so wish. So yeah, um, I've got a lot of work to do, but I'll get on it, and then I'll be back. So, after lots of cutting and a little bit of filing, there's still a few little rough edges to neaten up, um, but that's what you'd be left with. And that, of course, would be the storefront. And I'll just go on there like so. I'm not, I'm not gonna glue in the place, because <laughs> I want to paint the inside. But yeah, then once it's all painted, you stick the top on, stick on the side if you want, or leave it open. It's entirely up to you. And um, I'm not going to do it, but another thing you can do, what I've seen people do, is have another bit of plastic out up front. A little sort of counter there, and you can have stuff on there. Um, well, I still might do it, I don't know. I certainly wouldn't be able to put a lot of stuff on it, because I don't really have much left to do. I do feel like I may stick a little something in there as well, so I'll have a rummage around. And I did say about a little shopkeeper robot, I think I will make one. I won't do it on this video, but I'll make him up and then I'll show you, show him off and then just go through how I made him. Because um, obviously you can put anything you want in there, so you don't really need a guide on what to put in, so it'll be entirely up to you. And then I'll get it painted and show you a final result. Okay, so... I made this little robot guy. Um, he uses the legs from Skatari um, Rangers um, slash Vanguard, as well as one of their heads and one of their backpacks cut down. Also, one of their left arms actually, um, which is the sword cut off. Um, Torso is from the Rust Stalkers, and then this little arm thing is just from the Catathon Breaches. So all just admin stuff. Um, pretty simple. And here'll be my little vendor. He'll go in there like so. And then eventually that'll be on. So yeah, um, I think I will do a little, a little shelf at the front, just a tiny little thing, like a little countertop. 
And um, if you want to have a sign on top, I might do one eventually, but if you want to have one on top, just another sort of piece of plastic card and you can do whatever you want. That's mine sort of going under this piece of terrain. It's going to sort of go under like, like so. Obviously it'll have the top on. I'm going to make do a bit which comes off the floor, a bit more central. So yeah, we'll see. And I'm thinking I might close up the end and then use this top hatch as sort of a way in and out. That could work quite well. So yeah, um, I think the next thing for me to do though is to paint it and assemble it and get a little fun piece on it. It's literally just going to be another piece of plastic card, very similar to that, just sort of half the width and then just glue it to the front. Simple as that. Okay, so yeah, I've painted it. I've put a little shelf on the front. Um, I did end up putting some weapons on it. It just looked too bare, um, especially as it's just sort of flat, shiny plastic card. Um, it's not perfectly cut. I know. Um, if you're making one yourself, probably do a better job than me. But I don't know. I still like the sort of sort of slapdash approach to some of this stuff. So, so yeah, we've got a little robot guy inside. I painted it up. Now you might be thinking, wow, that the colour of this is quite garish. It is like a light metallic purple. Um, it's because I'm going for like this sort of cyberpunk theme, um, sort of Necromunda board. So um, you'd probably do more of a traditional looking, sort of bashed up, sort of shipment container. But I've just gone for something quite bright. But I think it sort of works. So I, I've left the um, ceiling off because when you put that on, as you can see, it gets quite dark inside. So yeah, that's why I haven't really gone too overboard inside just very basic just base coat and wash on every color because you're not going to see a lot of it now some people do put lights in these they'll run a little LED, LED strip to the top um, I thought about it but I just can't be bothered <laughs> but yeah I'm quite happy with how it's turned out you can see all the weapons in there uh, a little dollop of silver paint now, I'll paint over that. So essentially I've used different um, shades of silver on the inside, there's like... Um, I the Iron, Iron Warriors, I think, is the darkest silver GW do. Now I've done Grey Knight Steel, because I want this sort of bluey... sort of steel on the inside. I've done that on this shelf as well. And yeah, um, the metallic purple, if you're watching this and you like that colour, and you want to use it just for something else, it is... Scale 75 Amethyst Alchemy. They do some lovely sort of um, coloured metallics. There's like a sort of a red one, there's a blue one as well. And um, possibly a sort of light green one. And I did do a little tiny bit of airbrushing just for like little the little lights there, just because that sort of fits the theme of the board I'm doing. And um, yeah, we're going to do some Necromunda stuff in the future on the channel, so I'm sure you'll see all the terrain and stuff during that campaign so yeah i've got a lot of next month stuff going on at the moment but we do have plans for other stuff for the channel too so keep your eyes peeled but yeah there it is a shipping container little weapon shop and if you wanted you could even make a little sign out of plastic card or whatnot i might do in the future um i'm gonna have this piece of zomatalis terrain here that's gonna go over the top like that um another thing just to point out if you are doing a lot of people are sort of doing these sort of bits of terrain over the shipping containers and um the size is just like perfect, but some floor sections will have like little bits underneath, little lights and whatnot. So um, I just went to town with my Dremel and a knife and just chopped them off, just so they'll sit flush on top like that. So yeah, that's all that's left to say on this one. As you can see, it's quite dark inside now. But yeah, um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to our channel. If there's anything you'd like to see me build, convert, paint, etc, then please do leave a comment down below and I will see you all again in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video then please feel free to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. You can also click that bell icon to be notified when a new video has gone live on this channel. On the screen now are two more videos that you may wish to check out and a link to our Patreon page also. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again soon.